I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. Hey, what's up, everybody? Average Sniper here, and welcome to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. Man, I never thought I'd be making this many videos about Call of Duty since I last played it in Advanced Warfare. However, I did play the Battle Royale Blackout mode quite a bit, but that got old kind of fast. But today, I want to talk to you guys about my experience so far with Call of Duty. We're coming up on two weeks since the game has been out. And I would really love to know in the comment section how you guys have been liking Call of Duty. Whether you love it, whether you just like it, or whether you hate it. And I'd love to know the reasons why. Uh, because this will help me uh, make better videos and it will also help the developers uh, with feedback. In case this video ever gets super popular or something like that. Because YouTube and uh, streaming platforms are are now one of the main places that developers look for feedback about their game and what can be improved. At least the good developers do that by listening to the community. So guys, really curious to see in the comments section what you guys have to say about this. Let me tell you a little bit about the loadout I'm using because this is probably one of the best games I've had so far. I like to play Domination. In the old Call of Duties, I like to play Team Deathmatch, but Team Deathmatch is incredibly campy in this one. Incredibly campy. So I kind of strayed away from Team Deathmatch and went more to the objective-based game modes because even though you'll still have a lot of campers, you'll at least have a good feeling about where the enemies are coming from, what flank points they're going to use, and you'll just have a much better chance at getting more kills and kill streaks. So I am using, I'm not using the 725 shotgun, that's one thing. I am using uh, the Kilo Assault Rifle and I am I'm using Overkill as one of my perks. Uh, so that I can use the AX-50 sniper rifle. You'll see me get some kills with the AX-50 sniper rifle. I try not to snipe too much in this Call of Duty, um, although it is incredibly fun to do. I used to only snipe in every Call of Duty, no matter what map it was I would snipe, but now I'm more of a, I guess, a smarter player after having played FPS for so many years, and I realize that sometimes the best way to help my team is not by sniping, every single match. So I run overkill with an assault rifle and a sniper rifle. I also use the perk that helps you switch your weapons faster because sometimes if you're sniping and you get that hit marker, you need to be able to finish them off by switching back to your primary or secondary assault rifle. So the attachments I have on the Kilo assault rifle here um, are all attachments that give me better recoil control. That was my main goal. I first, at first I tried customizing my assault rifles uh, to the point where they would just aim down sights faster and I thought, you know what, there's hardly any recoil in this game, it doesn't really matter. And there's definitely hardly any recoil compared to PUBG, but there's enough recoil that other players can get the advantage on you if they're far away and they have less recoil than you. So I decided to change my strategy up. Instead of going for the aim down sights faster, I went for the recoil control. Probably the best decision I ever made. I was getting a lot of kills that I otherwise would not have been getting. It basically turns your gun into a laser beam. So awesome and so refreshing to have a good gameplay without being forced to resort to the 725 shotgun. Pretty much any map that's close range, right now at least, you can guarantee that every player on your team and the enemy team is probably going to be running overkill with the 725 shotgun because that thing is just super OP right now. I see a lot of people talking about how OP it is for long range and that is completely what I agree with. I think at close range the shotgun should be super effective, but at medium to long range, you know, it should not be that effective. <laughs> And uh, the 725, even without the slug rounds, is amazingly effective at um, medium range. So many times I've gotten one-shot kills on people, I'm like, what? That was so far away. Um, so yeah, so not doing that today. Definitely running the assault rifle and the sniper rifle. Uh, for my kill streaks, I have the UAV, the cluster strike, and the chopper gunner. Always playing to keep that nuke in mind, but my playstyle is kind of aggressive, so... It's pretty rare that I actually drop a nuke unless I'm against a completely noob team or if it's something that I'm really going for with a team that's willing to help me out and watch my six while I try and get 30 gun and equipment kills for that nuke. Man, it's been a long time since I've had the nuke. It's been a long time since I've even 
thought about it, but I know it's coming. I know it's coming, especially when I'm having uh, games like this where I'm dropping 50 plus kills in one lobby. Can't wait. Uh, so yeah, my overall experience has been a good one. I would say the only negative side to this game I've experienced so far is the extreme camping. But I'm very hopeful, uh, based on comments and videos I've seen and uh, tweets from the developers, that they're actually going... Oh, that was a good snipe right there. I didn't even see that guy. They're actually going uh, to try and fix a camper situation by making changes to the game. Um... For example, recently we've had it uh, changed so that claymores will be affected by stun grenades again so that you'll be able to stun them and run past them and kill the guy that's camping in the building with the claymore. Um, little things like that, battle chatter sound reduction. I made a video about it uh, previously so I'm not going to get too much into detail but do know that if you're struggling with campers right now, the developers do know about it and they're working on making changes to the game that will hopefully encourage people to move around more instead of camping. Oh, footsteps. That's the main one. They've already nerfed the footsteps a little bit and they're going to be making more changes to the footsteps to make it easier to run around. I would kind of like to see a Dead Silence perk come into the game instead of the Dead Silence field upgrade because the field upgrades have a time limit on them and... Um, you know, it's they just don't last as long. So I have tried the Dead Silence field upgrade and it's good, but I'd like to see it as a perk again because I think that would really help with this camping situation. It would make people not want to sit still for so long because you never know if you can hear the guy running up to you. Right now, camping is at an all-time high because the campers can hear people coming pretty much from any direction. But if you can't hear them coming, you're not gonna wanna sit there for too long because you're like, well, I could probably get shot from this way, this way. Some guy could come in this door or through this window. So the dead silence perk and uh, the footstep nerf would probably help that out a lot. So yeah, but anyway, I've been completely loving this game and I have not loved a Call of Duty since Black Ops 2. I was a huge Call of Duty player and Black Ops 2 was the last one I really liked. After that one, you know, I didn't really like Ghost very much. Um, I hardly played that at all. I did not like Advanced Warfare. I did not like Black Ops 3. Did not like Black Ops 4. Didn't like in Infinity Warfare, I think is what it's called. Something like that. I don't even know. I started losing track of them because I just wasn't playing. But this Call of Duty, much more realistic feel. Guns that are based in real life. It's not um, It's not an old shooter from like the World War II era. I was getting tired of those too. That's all that Battlefield has been doing. I was really hoping for a modern day shooter. And Call of Duty really delivered it on this one. And I'm not even upset, you know, with the bugs and the glitches that we've had. Because it's the game's only been out for two weeks. And pretty much every Call of Duty, when it first comes out, you have a ton of campers that are scared that their fragile kill-death ratio is going to get hurt if they don't camp you know, until they learn the maps. I'm more of the player that just likes to run around and get killed until I figured out all the strategic points on the map, and then I'll work on getting my kill-death ratio back up where it should be, you know, but this Call of Duty has definitely had more campers than usual, but I'm not even mad about it. I definitely have gotten salty, but I'm not mad about it. I've been having fun at the game for the most part. I've been having really good games. I've been having a lot of fun playing it with my friends, and I hope you guys have too. But having said that, I know there's a lot of people out there that love the PUBG gameplays, and I have not quit PUBG at all. A lot of times when I start uploading videos from another game, people just start unsubscribing and assuming that I've quit playing PUBG. I haven't. I've been uploading PUBG content on a steady basis, guaranteed at least one PUBG stream per week. We're doing PUBG Mondays and uh, Call of Duty Tuesdays, and if I have time to stream on any other days other than Monday and Tuesday, we're definitely going to get some PUBG and Call of Duty action in there. So don't think that I have forsaken PUBG. I still love PUBG. I'm just really enjoying this blast from the past, this nostalgic Call of Duty that hasn't given me this good run and gun or FPS shooter feeling for such a long time. And like I said, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say in the comments. I know there's going to be a lot of love, a lot of hate, a lot of people that just don't care. But definitely leave a comment, especially if you're the person that watches the videos and never comments. I would love to hear from you. I know my videos get a fair amount of views and a low amount of comments. So I really want to hear what you guys have to say, especially if you're someone that doesn't comment what much. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And feel free to hit that join button if you'd like to support. I'll see you guys on the next video or the next live stream. Later!